our two favorite currencies, the Norwegian and the Swedish. Uh, what we've seen over the last couple of weeks is that the Swedish uh, government has changed the pension uh, rules uh, dictating basically the curve by which the pension system needs to set their long-term liabilities. That has practical implication on the Swedish uh, bond and equity market because basically it means that the Swedish pension fund are more likely to buy equity vis-a-vis -vis buying bonds. We think that will drive and has driven short-term Swedish interest higher and, and making the equity bid. Uh, the long-term impact of that in the currency should be a strength of the currency, which we obviously also seen. Uh, Euro stock is trading 83, 85 as a range right now. We think ultimately Swedish krona needs to be much, much stronger because Swiss, uh, Sweden, not Swiss, but Swiss, Swiss, Sweden is becoming the new Switzerland, uh, as we talked about in our rate with prediction in December. We think this trend will continue, and I think it's it's by any means by any measurement Sweden is the strongest economy with the best performing finance minister they're looking to cut taxes as one of the own countries in Europe right now so go with the flow and, and respect the fact that people need a safe haven the safe haven right now is perceived to be Sweden and to some extent some of the conservative banks like Svenska Handelsbank in Sweden that almost by itself defines that the inflow into Sweden will continue despite the tail risk of the EU debt crisis continue so Swedish is extremely bullish in terms of the Norwegian krona, we remain neutral on Norwegian krona. You know, overall, we are big fans of the Norwegian economy and the currency, but we are right now fighting the Norwegian Central Bank. And fighting the Central Bank is not always a lost case, but certainly if you do it over a longer period, they have more money than you have uh, willingness to maintain the position. So in terms of Norway, we are neutral right now. Uh, it's trading uh, and been trading basically between 50 and, and 70 on the broad range. And we don't see anything changing over the course of the summer. Uh, the fundamentally, uh, people would be buying Norwegian krona because it's a safe haven. But I think people realize that the Swedish economy is a relatively better play. It's a bigger economy. It's it's more diverse. So we think that, relatively speaking, Sweden long and Norway short would be a play. But overall, both these currencies will improve vis-a-vis -vis both the euro and, and will maintain as one of the few currencies its pace against the dollar, which we remain very bullish on. Have a great week.